Yeah, hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. So we keep it um, we keep it short here. Not too much happened today. The market is quite slow, which again is is common for a wave four correction, right? Um, I will take some of those microstructures here out in this movement to the upside because they are not relevant anymore. I'm just going to hide them. Um, so we have a little bit more space and better overview on this chart. So now, um, obviously, the idea is still that um, the price topped here in a so-called wave two correction. I'm forecasting still further downside. Um, the condition is, though, that in the very, very short term, the price avoids a sustained break above 26,805. So if we see a sustained break above that level, then things might change on this chart. We would basically see with this wave four, um, you know, a reaction or an overlap with wave one, which is what we want to avoid. I would then have to reinterpret the microstructure. But really, as long as the price stays below 27,480, which is the level we've been talking about for basically the last couple of weeks, nothing really changes in this chart. It would be ideal in the interest of a yeah quick uh, <laughs> solution here that the price finally breaks below this um, neckline of this head and shoulders pattern, which might be unfolding here, the left shoulder, head, right shoulder. So the way four here might be the right shoulder. It's a beautiful head and shoulders pattern. So if we see a breakdown, it could reach the next support at $25,770. From there then, uh, it will probably hover around there for a while. This is again very, very important support. If I let's just see the volume profile, the RVP, I wouldn't, yeah, okay. So there is, as you can see in this region, a spike in volume. So it's actually in this entire region going all the way down to 25,773, but the point of control is actually a little higher. It's actually at 26,030. That's all here, the left hand side. And then here, on the right hand side, you have this spike. Um, You've got the spike a little lower, but um, for point of control, 26,000 and then 25,773 is also going to be basically structural support where this previous wave wave two found support. OK, but it's it's again an area where the price will probably slow down. So that means if we break below 26,360, which could happen hopefully at some point here, then it can take a while to get through this cluster of historical volume. Um, it, um, it's typically where the price starts to chop around and it will slow down most likely. So until then here, um, we are currently watching, obviously, let me actually take that out again. Yeah, we're actually watching now if this wave four could be complete. Basically the idea is larger degree wave two completed on Tuesday, the price is now following through to the downside. We've got a one, two, one, two setup. This could be the third wave, might be complete. Now the fourth wave and one more low in the fifth wave of the third. Okay, what I cannot rule out, and there is a different way of counting this, where this is already the larger degree third wave. This is the fourth wave, but it doesn't really have a great impact on resistance levels. So that means that after the next low, actually already potentially, this larger degree wave one is complete. Okay, so it could we could lose one wave degree basically. Okay, so um, again we won't know that. But we just need to be we just need to consider that after the next low, the price might get into a more extended correction, which would add to my idea and thesis that the price will start to chop around down here due to the historical volume and support. So yeah, let's assume let's assume third wave here, fourth wave here, fifth wave here. And then this larger degree wave one will complete here above 25,770. Then this larger degree wave two could stretch out for a while. Yeah, but um, again, that's all speculation at this stage. For us, it's only important to understand, okay, what is the resistance level that needs to hold? What are the key levels? And yeah, I mean, for me, you know, it's it's here in the short term, 26,805. I very intentionally say we want to avoid a sustained break because we had previous wicks briefly above that level. So it, it could potentially stretch out a little higher this way for um, before it actually comes down. But for now, yeah, I have no reason to currently assume something more bullish until I have any evidence for that on the chart. Okay, short term bullish potential is, of course, there, but it would only be unlocked above 26,805. And if it breaks above that level, then we get to 27,480. And above that level, the white wave count here will become more likely again. Yeah. 
but I don't see a clean pathway towards that at the moment. I mean, very, very difficult price structure. Yeah. The only way the white wave count could probably play out here is that, um, yeah, this was a wave one, we had a wave two, and then in the wave three, obviously all of this would have to be some kind of a diagonal. Um, this could be an A wave here, the move down in a B wave, and then a C wave to, to the upside, but I don't really see a clear setup for that either down here. So yeah, um, we are flexible, we remain flexible, but again, until the price breaks above that resistance, I don't see a clear setup on the long side at the moment without any kind of impulse to the upside. A few people ask me, okay, you know, could this be, could all of this be a leading diagonal here? Um, see, anything could be the case. Uh, but looking at the microstructures, it's not likely for me because I can only count three waves. I can see an A wave, a B wave and a C wave. In, even in a leading diagonal, we need five waves. Okay, so that's the problem here. Yeah, but um, this, this structure might still morph. So I did explain it in yesterday's video. I said, look, if we, if we don't, so as long as we don't, I mean, Bitcoin can always surprise, right? But the odds for, uh, for the yellow wave count, the probabilities for the yellow wave count, it will increase further if we see a break below 26,360. And exactly there, the price stopped. So it, it's just that, that sort of decision level that we need to cross now to reduce the likelihood for the white wave count further. Okay, that's my update about Bitcoin. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. You can find the links in the video description. There's additional content there every single day. And also make sure that you check out the membership if you're interested in additional content, elite wave counts and so on. Um, you find the links in the description as well. There is uh, the next live stream is on Sunday. It's a member live stream, 5 p.m. UTC. Um, you get access to Discord and Telegram, our chat rooms, additional content. And as a gold member, you get additional short-term market updates and Elliott Wave signals. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.